Hello, beautiful beings of light. This is Shauna L. Francis. It is August 23rd, 2020. It's a Sunday. I think um, my guides are encouraging me here to go, go with kind of something that's going on personally with me, and maybe this will also help you. I'm a, in a not a great mood today. I am dealing with something personal that is weighing heavy on me. Kind of one of those things where I'm thinking about it before I go to bed last night and then I wake up about four in the morning and I'm thinking about it again. <clears throat> Even though I know at that particular point in time in that one infinite moment, there's nothing I can do about it. How much of our waking days and sleepless nights are spent swirling on things that we have no control over <laughs> or things that aren't important or things that, um, you know, need to be dealt with, say, later, you know, where you've got no control in a present moment to do something about it. So that's where I'm at today. Um, you know, I'm really committed to this process. So even if I'm not feeling great or in the mood, I want to be here for you and I want to be here for the Galactic Federation of Light, all my guides, all the higher beings of light who are here to help us right now. So um, I'm going to turn it over to the Galactic Federation of Light and we'll see what they have to say about kind of what I just described and anything else they'd like to talk to you about today. The realities that you create for yourself moment to moment to moment can be very much dictated by your ego. Your ego's main intention is safety. As your ego grows and thrives and begins to really take over your existence, it's not just about safety any longer, it's also about power. It's about control. Your ego can be very fragile, so it may seem very puffed up and very strong and very confident, but usually that's a veneer that is covering up something a little less confident, a little more vulnerable. Your ego does not like to be vulnerable. <coughs> Your ego is protecting you from that. Your ego doesn't like that. So in these times where your thoughts begin to rule your waking moments, your sleeping moments, the moments in between waking and sleeping, trying to force a solution in your head trying to force yourself to think through every single situation or scenario that could come about because of that situation, you get caught in a tornado of thought that is really hard to get out of. How do you get into the center of that tornado, the eye of the storm, where it is absolutely calm and still? So these thoughts, these emotions, the worry, the stress, swirling all around you, all around you in this tornado, but you are in the center of this tornado, your ultimate truth, who you truly are. You are in the middle of this tornado where it is calm, where it is clear, where the sunlight enters, where you know, where everything Everything you're worrying about, wondering about, asking about is known, is known in your truth. How do you get into the eye of the storm where the answers are ex extremely crystal clear to you? It 
As hard as this is to understand, it is actually just your choice. It's your choice to do so. I think I am going to take a moment for myself. I'm going to allow the swirl of these emotions and thoughts continue on some level of my beingness, but the truth of who I am is going to step out, step into the center where things are calm, where things are clear, where I know the answer to this problem. Airplane. It's a beautiful day out. I opened the door. It's distracting. <laughs> Let's give that a second. Sorry, team. Okay, so as you were saying, how do we step into the center here? And this is choice. Yes, my dear. Can you detach yourself from your thoughts? Can you, the source of you, your soul, your spirit, stand firmly, calmly within the center of this swirl and see it from an outside perspective? See it from a better vantage point. Imagine yourself in the center of the storm, the eye of the storm, and consciously slow down the swirl, slow down the thoughts, all these jumbled thoughts that are keeping you in worry and stress. Imagine that storm coming to a standstill, frozen in time. See it for the debris that it is, the dust, the cloudiness, the darkness. This is not who you are. These thoughts are not who you are. These circumstances do not define you. Only if you allow them, you are in choice. This tornado is of your making. This tornado actually could be very important to your growth, to your learning, to your experiences that you wanted to experience here in this lifetime before you incarnated. So can you stop the swirl, the jumbled mess of swirl, all the debris flying around you in a whirl, a blurry whirl of crazy, can you stop that, slow it down, stop it, and really take a good look at what's going on here? Choose what is the overriding most important thought that you're having that's creating you this stress. Write that thought down. Physically take a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and write this thought down. Remove the emotion and the labels that you have for this situation or event. Whatever this thought is, remove your labels and your judgments of what this is. Strip away the emotions that you've attached to this, the expectations you have or had for it. See this situation only as a fact. This happened. Begin to understand that you are attaching all kinds of future possibilities to that event or thought. And as we've spoken about before, your thoughts are extremely powerful, extremely powerful. This is the beginning of you manifesting what you desire, what you put out to the universe. It begins with your thoughts. 
your intentions. So take this time underneath the sentence that you've written about the situation, the core situation, the core event, the core action that happened, and think for a moment into your heart, into your heart, not so much with your ego or your mind, but in your heart, what's the best situation for me, the best outcome for me? What do I want to have happen here in my heart? This might be a good time to ask your higher self for help here. What does your higher self have to say about what is best for you from your heart space? What do your guides say? Write that down. So you've removed judgment about this thing that's bothering you. You've re removed labels. You have removed emotions. You're looking at it more objectively from the center of the storm, the storm that you have stopped in its tracks so you can really take a look at the core thought here that is causing the swirl. And you have gone into your heart and you've asked for help in deciding what might be the best outcome for me at this time. Now say an intention out loud. My higher self, my team of light, I ask that you help this situation come to fruition for my highest good. I release all attachments and worry to this event, to this outcome, to this situation. I release it to my higher self. I release this to my guides. I am clear and confident in how I'd like this to turn out. And I know that my higher self will help make the best possible outcome for me a reality. I no longer have to worry about this. I release this to my higher self. And then have gratitude for that help. Thank you, my team. Thank you, my higher self, for helping this situation, helping me see this situation from an objective point of view, and to know that the outcome that is best for my higher self will come to fruition. Thank you, my team. Please do this today if you've got big worries on your mind. Now is the best time to invest in yourself. In, invest in how you are in this world, how you relate to this existence, how you carry yourself, the light you bring, the resonance that you put out. Invest in yourselves. Don't allow fear, stress, and worry to disable the truth of who you are. We know this is difficult, but really begin to see that you are not a victim of any circumstance in your life. Every belief you have, every judgment you have, every thought you have, every situation in your world has been created by you. My friends, this is such an incredible, incredible learning that you need to know at, at this time. This is 
pivotal to your awakening, to your raising of your vibration, sovereignty and freedom. We'd like to take this moment to beam out massive amounts of energy and love to you, everyone who is watching this video, no matter when you watch it. We, the Galactic Federation of Light, wish to extend our love and light directly to you at this time. Please close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and just relax with us. Clear your thoughts and open your heart. Know, beautiful ones, that you are absolutely loved unconditionally. You are us. We are you. Know this in your hearts. Please continue to ask us for help and guide us, guidance. There is nothing we'd rather be doing than helping you with the ascension. This is why we are here. With all the love and light we can muster, we leave you with these messages for today. Really powerful for me. I hope you felt that. Thank you, Galactic Federation of Light, all my guides, my higher self. Wonderful messages. I'll put them into action today. I need that. I hope you do too. I hope this is helpful. Thank you, everybody.